Hey yo, what is up everybody, SS Samurai 7 here, and in today's video we are back continuing the story of Shane Stevens. If you haven't seen the last episode, there are some spoilers ahead, so I encourage you to check those out beforehand. And without further ado, grab some popcorn, sit back, and let's get right into the video. When I left you all off in the last video, we had just been bit and cut off Shane's arm in order to stay alive. It's now day 36, and let's see if we can survive another video. I started off with some reading, smoking, and filling my bottle up to get rid of some moodles. It was dinner time now, since the previous episode we left off pretty late, so I prepared a stir fry when I heard a zombie knocking at the door. Once again, the cafeteria door was broken. While the stir fry was cooking, I placed pots of water in the stove as well to sterilize. I went to replace the bandage on my arm and where I had made the cut was now infected. I disinfected the area and placed a new bandage on it. Afterwards, I ate the stir fry I made, remade the door outside that had been broken, and went to place in planks for the windows and realized I wasn't able to. I may no longer be able to hammer the nails in due to missing an arm. There are prosthetics I can make with the mod I have, but we need to find a recipe beforehand. I spent a little too much time lollygagging outside, and a couple of dead decided to come up and scare me. When I had finally killed them, it was the early morning. I drank some bourbon when I returned to my room before heading off to bed. When I woke up the next day, it was extremely late, so I decided to spend the day reading up on my skills. Before that though, I went outside to try and plank up the windows again, but still no luck. And then I went to the medical room to clear my wounds. Afterwards, I grabbed medical volume 1 to start reading and returned to my room, where I drank alcohol and read for the rest of the night. Finally, I'm back to waking up at a normal time. Jane hadn't been clean in a while, so I grabbed a bar of soap and went outside to clean myself. This took way longer than I expected, so I literally spent almost a whole day just cleaning myself off. Now that we are finished though, I went to the kitchen to eat some food, another night of random food before it spoils. Nothing like cheese and yogurt for dinner. Yummy. Before I went to sleep, I smoked a cigarette, took some painkillers, and read a book to calm myself down. Day 39, I began with some painkillers to relieve the soreness. After I went to grab some breakfast, I noticed the door was once again broken. Once the dead were cleared, I ate some cheese and moved the spoiled food from out of the fridge to the trash can outside. Then I tried to fill up the generator using the almost empty gas can, but I couldn't pour the liquid inside. Confused, I went out to the truck to collect a gas can. Luckily, when I returned outside, I was now able to add it to the generator. Once it was full, I dried myself off using towels from the kitchen. And for dinner, I prepared a stir fry since the past couple meals have just been cheese and yogurt. While it was heating up, I went ahead and threw a couple of eggs in there to cook along with it and a pot of water to sterilize. Then I drank a beer before heading off to sleep for the night. When I awoke the next morning, Shane was starting to feel queasy. I remember a few weeks back we had found a medical serum. Thinking this may be the cure to the infection, I went ahead and drank it. I don't think it's the infection from the bite, it's probably just from cutting my arm off instead. Following that, I ate the rest of the stir fry and returned to the medical bay, where I continued reading First Aid Volume 1 and until I became hungry again. I smoked a cigarette and filled up my bottle while it was cooking. When I finished eating, I went to the administrator's office where I grabbed my metal working gear and began to start leveling up my skill. I continued dismantling items all the way until 11pm, where I returned to my room for a beer and then went to bed. I started day 41 with a smoke, then got right to work on leveling up Shane's metal working. Once the propane torch was out of fuel, I ran around the room grabbing reading material that was left from when I took apart the desks. 
Afterwards, I went to the kitchen to finish off the stir fry for dinner, and then returned to my room for the night. Once I woke up, it was right back to metalworking. After a few more hours of that, I did some reading in the library to clear more of my Moodles, and then ate some candy from the kitchen. I haven't touched it since we found it in the grocery store, but I figured now would be a good time. I was still nauseous, and it didn't seem like it was going away. Hopefully this wouldn't be the last night. Dang, Shane's hair is getting long. After drinking some alcohol, I decided to go ahead and go to sleep. If you're enjoying this video, consider leaving a like. It's quick to do and really helps out the channel. Also, if you have any suggestions on how I can improve the videos, comment them down below. Anyway, thank you all for the support, and let's get right back into the video with day 43. Upon awakening, I realized my body temperature was extremely high. We weren't in any immediate danger, so I stripped down some of my clothes to maybe help with the fever. Once I had stripped down, I got to work leveling up my metalworking again. I started in the bathroom where I dismantled sinks and toilets. I'm thinking maybe I craft some storage boxes and make these bathrooms into additional storage rooms. Most of the toilets still had water in them and I didn't want to waste it, so I left them for now. Now starting to get hungry, I made my way to the kitchen for lunch. After eating, I decided to head outside to ensure that zombies wouldn't worm over to the school while I was sleeping. Then I sat on the reading mat in the library and continued reading the first aid book. When I started to get tired, I went into my room where I had a cigarette and drank before sleeping through the night. When I woke up on day 44, I started by checking my infection. It was still there. I wanted to disinfect it before putting a new bandage on it, so I went to the medical room. Upon arriving, I tried to flick on the light switch and it wouldn't work. I bandaged up and then went to grab the truck to bring it around. Once the Jenny was full again, I prepared a stir fry for lunch. Hopefully our farm out back will bring us a bunch of fruits and vegetables to add to our meals as well. While I was eating, I threw a pot of water in the stove to sterilize and then added it to the water cooler. I figured since I had been leveling up Shane's skills so much this episode, I may as well patch up my clothes. There were a few holes in some of the items, and once they were patched up, I went out to the garden to check on the crops. Most seemed to be doing fine, but there was a tomato that had a disease. I'm new to this whole farming thing, so tell me down below if there's anything I need to do to this crop, or if it'll be okay. The health is still flourishing, so maybe it will be okay. Since it was raining right now, I figured I'd go around the yard to see if I could find anything. I found a branch, a cricket, a log, twigs, and a cockroach. I placed the log with the rest outside, and tried to add one of the bugs to the mousetrap, but I wasn't able to. Maybe I can add cheese to it, I'll try to remember for next episode. When I returned to my room, I had accumulated a plethora of moodles throughout the day, so I went ahead and went to bed. But with almost 600 zombies killed, and one month and 14 days survived, Shane Stevens' story continues. But for how much longer? This episode, I spent a lot of time trying to increase my skills since we are going through a bit of a rough patch right now. Hopefully nobody found this episode in particular too boring. If you did, take it up with my manager. But if you all did enjoy this video and would like to see more of Shane Stevens' story, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss out on a future video. Also, if you're interested in getting to know me or meeting other Project Zomboid players, come join my Discord, link in the description, along with all my other socials. With all of that out of the way, thank you all for the continued support and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.